Hi and welcome to the Power Calculator. This is the second of, in our series of videos about using the Power Calculator. What I'm going to show you today is a full example including boost because the last example I showed you is for a normally aspirated vehicle or a naturally aspirated vehicle without a turbocharger or supercharger. What we're going to show you today is a supercharged application and we're also going to show you a difference between uh, a scenario where we're going to use camshafts and a scenario where we're not going to use camshafts. We're going to see how the calculations are different and how that affects our boost pressure and some of our calculations. So I've already loaded the calculator with some information about an engine here. This is a Mercedes engine. It's a 1.8 liter C200 compressor. This is a 1.8 liter engine with four cylinders and a 55, actually it's a 6200 RPM redline. The cylinder bore is 82 millimeter and the stock compression ratio is 9.3 to 1. The engine in stock form produces 163 horsepower at 5500 RPMs at 6 pounds of boost pressure. And I would like to make 320 horsepower. I'm, I plan on running a single throttle body, a single exhaust, and I don't plan on running nitrous. I'm just going to hit calculate here. Okay, we're going go to go to the results tab. We'll see that the calculator says I need 21 pounds of boost on this small engine, this 1.8 liter engine, to produce 320 horsepower. And I'm going to need a certain camshaft duration, 240 degrees on the exhaust cam, 200 degrees on the intake cam, and it'll give me some other information such as my throttle body size, 60 millim 16 millimeter single throttle body. And I have other information here such as my intake manifold runner length, 13 inches, my header primary length, 11 inches, and we'll go down here and you'll see some compression ratio information and my fuel information. Okay, so that's our first scenario. What I'm going to do back here is I'm going to go back to my inputs and I'll show you what happens if I change this to 5500 RPMs. Why am I changing this? Uh, for certain cars such as cars with variable valve timing or certain manufacturers such as Mercedes or Jaguar, it might be very hard for you to find aftermarket camshafts and so if I want to make more power I'm going to be forced to produce this power at the same stock RPM that the stock camshafts are tuned for because I can't get after aftermarket cams. So I'm going to change my red line to my stock peak power RPM and that will tell the calculator that I'm not going to buy cams for my car and that I need to make up the power difference in boost. And I'll hit calculate here and we'll see what happens in my results is that to produce the same power at a lower RPM I'm going to need 5 pounds of more boost. And that's what it says here, I need 26 PSI boost pressure to produce 320 horsepower instead of 21 PSI if I were to install camshafts and move my peak power up to 6200 RPMs. The effect of this is that I'm going to be using a more conservative intake and exhaust cam and you can see the numbers here are more conservative. Also some other numbers here change because I'm running a higher boost pressure that means the air is going to be more compressed so the throttle body doesn't have to be as large so I need a 57 millimeter throttle body instead of a 60 millimeter throttle body that's automatically adjusted. If I also look at my intake manifold runner length the intake manifold runner length is longer now because the peak RPM that I'm going to be producing my power at is at a lower RPM range so this has been adjusted to give me a resonant frequency at that RPM range if you also look at my header primary length, it's also been adjusted. And some other information doesn't change, such as my fuel requirements. That's fueling for 300 horsepower. That's not going to change whether I produce that 300 horsepower at 1,000 RPMs or 8,000 RPMs. That, that number doesn't change. So depending on what you input to the calculator, some of these numbers will change. Some of them won't. Now I'm going to click Next. Show me my illustration tab. Just give me a nice illustration of all the parts I need on the exhaust and intake side. And then if I click next again, it's going to take me to my supercharger tab. If I look here, it gives me a list of compatible superchargers for my application, depending on horsepower and boost pressure. If I see here, uh, my small supercharger gives me a 327 horsepower capability, which matches my inputs of 320. And then it gives me a list of 10 other superchargers that are compatible with this application. Right. So I'd like to thank you for joining me today showed you two examples, one with camshafts and one without, and I've showed you this new tab today, Superchargers tab, which gives you a list of possible applications for your power requirements.